Welcome everyone, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures. And uh, today we're gonna show you a short uh, video presentation uh, for a new contract that we just picked up here at AMP Futures, the uh, Mini Nikkei 225 contract, which is a contract that trades on the Japanese uh, Japanese exchange group. Uh, this is pretty much the, uh, the mini contract off the full-size contract. Just I brought up the actual web page here you can see on the screen, just so you can see uh, the contract that I'm referring to. And this is now available to trade live at AMP Futures for any of our CQG compatible platforms. So today we're going to show you how to add the contract within CQG Mobile, uh, which is a web-based web -based platform that we offer at AMP for free that's compatible with either your desktop PC or you can use a cell phone device to access CQG Mobile. Again, it is free. There's no uh, monthly cost for the platform and as well as accessing the Nikkei 225. So uh, let's get to it. We're going to show you how to add the contract. Very simple. If you don't already have demo credentials, uh, we do presentations throughout the week, so we've already shown you how to get into a demo account. If you have a live account set up with AMP Futures already using CQG Data Feed, this platform that you see on the screen at this moment is currently automatically configured and enabled for you. So uh, real quick, let me just show you how to log into the platform if you already are set up for CQG. You're going to go to www.amtfutures.com. That's our homepage. And what you're going to want to do is you want to go to Client Portal. So the page is still loading. I apologize. All right, you got to click on, uh, let me go right back, hang on. Click on Client Portal, and then you're going to go to Web Trading Login. All right, once you click on Web Trading Login, it's going to take you to a page where it's going to show you all the available web-based platforms that we offer. And you want to click on CEG Mobile. That's the top selection there. All right, when you do that, it's going to take you to the login screen to log into the, app, to the platform itself. And whether you have live credentials or demo credentials, you just want to make sure that you log in with the credentials that have been assigned for you. Uh, of course, if you're trading a live account, we've already given you a username and password for your live account. And if you have demo credentials, as I do, then you're going to log in from this page. All right, once you log in, you're going to be into the actual platform itself. Now, the demo account, which is what I'm using right now, this is the default workspace that you see when you first log into CQG Mobile. Unfortunately, this workspace is not available on the live account. So I'm going to show you real quick just how to add the contract assuming you were using a live account because you don't have the luxury of this particular workspace that you see on the screen right now. So I'm going to click right here, add new page. That's going to allow me to build out a new workspace. All right, we're going to go to empty page. And we're just going to go ahead and name the workspace whenever we want. Click OK. Now you don't, necessarily, you don't have to follow these steps. You know, you might already have a workspace built. But I'm just showing it for as if you were logging into the platform for the very first time. All right, we're going to add a widget now. And the first, the one that you want to start with would be the quotes widget, which is going to allow you to add symbols and populate a chart. Okay, so this is what the add symbols display box looks like. What you're going to do next is you're going to want to go ahead and type in the symbol root for CQG for the Mini Nikkei 225. So you can see there, I've already added it. I'm just going to go ahead and type in MJNK. And then all you have to do is type in the symbol root. You don't have to type in the contract month and year. It's going to auto-populate the contract. You can see as it, as, it, as, it ha as it has there. I'm going to left-click to select that contract. And now you can see it's been added. And I'm going to click OK. And now you can see the contract has been added. You can see there's a chart. And now you are officially ready to trade this contract live on CQG Mobile. And uh, you know, not, won't get, I won't get too in detail in terms of how to add more columns. Uh, that's usually for the different presentations that we do out throughout the week uh, at, on our community page on www.antfutures.com. But today was just a short video clip how to add the contract within CQG Mobile. Now, I'll, I'll give one more quick demonstration. If you are using a demo account, then you do have this exact workspace that you see here on the screen that's about to populate. And let me go ahead and show you how to add that contract once more using this setup here. So this, if you have this workspace and you're using a trial demo of CQG Mobile, in this case, to make it easier, you, you can go ahead and click right here. On the top right corner of the quotes widget, you can see a little box with three dots. When you left click on it, you want to go to Add Symbols. And then you're going to do the same thing, MJNK. You can see the auto populate kick in. You're going to left click. And now you're going to click OK. And then what happens is the contract by default gets added to the very bottom. All right, and there it is right there. All right, so if I left click on the symbol, you can see that my dome changes and my chart changes to the mini Nikkei contract, and now you're ready to trade live. All right, so 
This contract is pretty much a, a contract that opens about 7 p.m. Chicago time. It trades all the way until 1.10 in the morning Chicago time. A lot of times we get customers asking, is there a market that has good liquidity in the afternoon? And uh, up until a couple days ago, until we picked up this contract, uh, this is a contract that you can look into. Other than that, guys, thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time.